What do we know about the genetic landscape of pancreas cancer? And actually quite a lot is known and recently been added to. And this has been well characterized now, I would say over the last 10, 10 years or so. There are a number of key mutations that are almost ubiquitous in this disease with KRAS being very common. Uh, it's an activating uh, mutation and then inactivating mutations of P53, of SMAD4 and CDKN2. So often one, two, three or four of those will be identified in a given pancreas cancer. And then there's a lower level of frequency of other mutations that 10% or less and even down to single digits. And the lower level frequency events are things like uh, Robo1, Robo2, uh, RNF43, sort of more newly identified, previously described in cystic neoplasms and seen in invasive uh, cancer, BRCA1, BRCA2 uh, germline events uh, seen at low single digit uh, frequency. But what, what is complex about pancreas cancer is that even though they're the major four, uh, the co-association of other mutations with those four are highly uh, varied. And Andrew Biankin and uh, Dr. Grimmond and, and his team have recently updated what we know about uh, the genetics of pancreas cancer. And they reported on 100 genomes where they did whole genome uh, sequencing and have provided a new potential classification for how we think about pancreas cancer that may have some therapeutic implication. And they've described uh, a stable group, a group uh, that's highly unstable, a group that has scattered uh, genetic uh, chromosomal structural change, and a group that uh, has local regionally uh, variants in, in their genome. And the, the unstable group is of particular interest because they may be the group that uh, we see benefits from certain therapies such as platinum agents, and uh, experimentally PARP inhibitors. So people are, are very interested to, to, to look at this more. So regarding the driving uh, mutations for this disease, it's the big four, uh, KRAS, P53, SMAD4, and CDKN2. Uh, some of these occur very early. KRAS mutations can occur at pre-invasive states. And uh, as pancreas cancer develops, and there's a and various pathways why, by how at which it can develop, there's a, an accumulation of genetic changes that can occur. Um, so I think we know a lot now uh, about how this disease is, is made up. Uh, where we really hope to sort of capitalize better on the understanding is how it applies to, to patients and treatments.